Hey ho everyone, Ginger Gargoyle here. Sorry for the raspy voice. I have a headache that won't go away. Apparently there's a new strain of strep that goes around. You don't really get a sore throat. You get a really bad three-day migraine. Okay, I want to go over my Misty. If you saw my last haul video, you know that I've been wanting one of these for over a year now. And um, they just happened to co it just happened to coincide with Valentine's Day and a 20% off coupon. And Paper Wishes still had it in stock, so I grabbed it. Um, these boxes are hard as heck to open up. Um, it comes with a little tab on the top. I could not get the tab on the top to open up. I did get the tab on the bottom to open up. Okay, so it pops out this way. This slides out that way. And then you have to really work to get this box out. This box pops out. And then you have your, ta-da, Misty inside. Now this has been a little rearranged because this is take two. But I'll show you what you get. Okay, first, the Misty. It holds a eight and a half by six and a half inch sheet of paper. All right, if you take an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, cardstock, copy paper, whatever you got, tear it in half, it works just fine. This is my last one. <clears throat> okay, it has a door that opens up. It's an acrylic door, okay? It comes with this grid pad. A little hint, this is quarter inch grid pad, all right? They do sell refills on these. They are not cheap. I would just go out and buy a grid pad. Or better yet, look online. If you trust your printer is accurate with its printing, if you look online, you will find a free download for quarter-inch graph paper. I know it's there. I've used it for my kids for school in a pinch when they ran out of graph paper. It is there, okay? So... You can get that and print that up yourself. It comes with a foam pad. That foam pad replaces this foam pad when you're using your stamper blocks. Difference is, this is only one third the thickness, or one quarter of the thickness. All right, so you're not going to get quite the quite the gush. Okay, then it comes with this permanent grid line on it. All right. Comes with two magnets. Now, let's get this out of the way first so that I don't forget it because this is what I did last time and I forgot. Number one, these are earth magnets, guys. If anything happens to them, you want to replace them with earth magnets. I saw this hint online and I thought it was a really good hint. What you want to do, because if the magnets get stuck together, it's real hard to separate them. You want to wrap the magnets with the tape. All right, and I'm off, of course, because I can't wrap with the darn. All right. Make a little handle. Okay, you just make the handle by pinching it together in the middle, but leave enough so it can go around. All right, now do the same thing to the other one. You can see it doesn't affect the magneticness of the earth magnet at all. These are high quality earth magnets, guys. Um, they're basically the same, same magnets if you have a magnetic platform that are in your magnetic platform, which means they will break if you drop them from a great height, so be careful you do not. Um, if you allow the magnets to slap together, you might also run into the run a risk of them breaking, so try not to do that. Okay, this one's a little cockeyed, but okay. So now if, whoop, that side came undone. That's not good. Okay. Let me pop that back in. Okay, so now, if for some reason these two get stuck together, it 
should be easier to separate them, they say. Well, six of one, half dozen of the other, if you ask me. I just think it makes them look prettier. All right, so now let's do some stamping. Let's get into the the pig slaughter, shall we? Let's slaughter this pig. All right, so we're going to start with an acrylic stamp. Acrylic stamp, that means just clear plastic. No big deal. No hooting and hollering. I'm going to use the same little stamper that I used before because I liked the way that that worked up. Now, I'm going to lay it down. And since I'm not really concerned about whether this is upward or downward or rightward or wrongward, I'm just going to lay it down. See if I can't get that to focus. Um, I don't know if I got that. Okay. Because I'm just doing this for the hoots and hollering of it, I don't care whether these are meeting up proper or not. So I'm just going to close this down, just give it a little press. Press it back on. Okay, and we're done. Here's my paper. I'm going to turn it this way since I wasn't real particular. All right. Your placement of your magnets. It doesn't matter. Okay. As long as your magnets are not going to be where you are stamping, you're fine. And my other one go. You do want to use two magnets, though to keep them from uh, keep it from shifting. All right. There's where it's going to stamp. Now, I have two stamps, two stamp pads. Okay, they're both rich cocoa, they're both memento. This one has less ink than this one, so I'm going to start out with this one. This has nothing to do with the stamp. This has everything to do with the amount of pressure. If you know anything about acrylic stamps, you know that the harder you push, the more they go, and they splay. Okay, you don't need to put a lot of pressure on here. I'm just rubbing on this with one thumb, guys. Okay, and there's my mark. Not very dark. Because I haven't moved anything, I can go back and add a little more ink of my not-so-inky stamp, stamp pad. Push it down again. Pull it up. You can see it's stamped even better. Okay, one more time. I'm just going to do it one more time just for luck. I'm going to push this down. Look, just with one thumb, guys. That's all it takes is one thumb of pressure. How much pressure do you get from your thumb? I'm not hardly pushing it off. Look at that. It's nice. It's crisp. It's clean. Um, oh, not so dark up on this side. I'll put that down and press a little bit harder right there. All right. There. How's that for evening it out? As long as I have not moved anything, I haven't moved my stamp, I haven't moved my paper, I haven't moved my magnets, it's perfect. I really like that. That is going to save me a lot of headaches in the long run. And trust me, today I really need a break from the headache. Um, now... Actually, I think I'm going to leave that just the way that it is. I'm going to take out the foam. As you can see, you can take out the foam. and Well, actually, you can't see that because I oh, put the thing in the wrong way. I took out the foam but left this magnet in this bottom corner here. And it hardly moved. Okay, that's how thin this foam is. Okay, let's do a stamp. I'm going to use a doggy stamp. Okay. You guys might recognize Tim Holtz. Crazy dog. Put it down upside down the way that you want it. All right. Nice thing about the grids is you can check and make sure that it's lined up proper. I'm not concerned about that. Because this has a built-in foam, 
I do not need to use the black foam. And for this one, I'm going to use the bigger pad just for convenience sakes. Because otherwise, you guys have got to wait for me to ink up this whole big thing. I'm just going to press down here on his bottom so you can see. Oh, I guess the top did kind of ink, but not very well. I'm going to re ink it, push it down. Okay, I'm not doing press chest compressions, guys. I'm just rubbing it. And that's all you got to do. That's it. I think I'm really going to like this Misty. Um, I don't know about y'all, but I have a real problem with getting a nice clear coverage. You can see it's not double stamped. It's very detailed between the Misty and my magnetic, uh, my magnetic platform for my my uh, Big Shot and my Big Shot Plus. I think I'm going to be doing really well. So that's it for now, guys. Um, as I come up into some more hints and grins and hoo hoos and ha has of the device. Oh, you know what? I don't have a good spot to put that down on. I will let you guys know what I come up with. Oh! Now, don't use this without the magnetic platform, guys, because it will shift. All right, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye!